Urge to Zendikar. Rising. Rising. Falling. Rising! I'm around the wheel. You're watching Uncle Roundy Cracks a Pack. Today is pretty special because today we have here the first booster contributed to the channel. By a close personal friend of mine, a friend of the channel, my good buddy Mr. Little, who has given me this to crack. I think this is the first Zendikar Rising draft booster we've done. It's pretty floppy, you see that? It's flopping forward, but hopefully, you know, I don't usually get draft boosters now that they have set boosters, but you know, sometimes, sometimes a draft booster just, you know, feels good. Let's do it. Let's crack this thing. Let's see what's in it. Mr. Little, I give this pack the good juju, whatever, whatever good mythic is in here, because there's like one or two good rares in this set. Maybe we'll get one of the two or so good rares. We shall see. But, uh... Draft boosters, of course, not quite as exciting, but you do know what you're getting at least, so there is that. So let's go ahead and pop that. No list card, obviously, <laughs> because this is a draft booster, that's why. It would be silly if there was a list card in the draft booster. Silly, I say. So we start with the core celebrant today who gains one life whenever it enters the battlefield or whenever another creature enters the battlefield under our control. It's celebrating. It's already, you know, don't count your chickens before we hatch, Core Celebrant. This could still be a bum pack, but you know, maybe maybe the excitement is what we need here. Or maybe we need inordinate rage. Maybe we're going to be inordinately angry that we didn't get any good pulls out of here. God, oh, it makes me so mad. Oh. No, it doesn't. It's fine. You get what you get when you're cracking packs. You know what you're getting into. Mind Drain. Target opponent discards two cards, mills a card, and loses one life, and you gain one life. Man, for the, that's like no downside for you, and like all downside for them, unless they want their cards milled, which a lot of decks do. It's not always bad to have your things thrown in the graveyard. Adventure awaits as we make our way toward the back of the pack to look at the rare. Look at the top five cards in your library. You may reveal a creature card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order, and if you didn't put a card into your hand this way, draw a card. So yeah, you get something no matter what. We've got our artifact gargoyle here with flying and defender. Oh, it can uh, if it has a plus one plus one counter on it, it can attack like it didn't have defender. Not that defender is such a bad thing ever. Vanquish the weak. Destroy target creature with power three or less. Pretty simple, I would say. Risen Riptide. Whenever you cast a kicked spell. Risen Riptide has base power and toughness 5-5 five, five until end of turn. Yeah, but that uh, that relies on casting things that have a kicker cost. And <laughs> Why would we mess with kickers most of the time? Sizzling Barrage deals 4 damage to target creature that blocked this turn. That's weird. I feel like I haven't seen this card yet. Ever. Like, just not one I've run into. Maybe I have. I don't know. We haven't opened much Zendikar on this channel because it's kind of a passe set. It is not the most current set at the time of filming. Dauntless Unity. This, this has got a kicker. There we go. Maybe some synergy with that other card back there. A Highborn Vampire. 4-3 Vanilla Vampire Warrior. But you know, sometimes vanilla is the flavor you want. Moving on to our Uncommons. Roost of Drakes. One blue enchantment with a kicker of blue plus two. If it was kicked, we can create a 2-2 Drake with flying. And whenever you cast a kick spell, create a 2-2 blue Drake creature token with flying. Well, there you have it. Little Drake Maker right there. Brush Fire Elemental. Green plus red. A 1-1 one, one Elemental. With haste. Brush Fire Elemental can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. And it has a little landfall trigger where it gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. For for a land entering the battlefield. And we have our Sajiri Shelter. This is our little cassette land here. I don't think these are guaranteed to come in a draft booster. But we have one here anyway. White plus 1. Target creature control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. And what is our rare going to be today? Ooh! Ooh! This is actually... <laughs> Here we are! This is actually one of the two, like, really good rares you can get out of here. This is a good card right here. Skyclave Apparition. White, white one. A 2-2 core spirit. When Skyclave Apparition enters the battlefield, exile up to one target non-land non-token permanent you don't control with converted mana costs four or less you just straight up exile like for three 
you exile something with converted mana cost for us. So this can be a big like early play, or you know it can come in basically any time and just exile something really good. When Skyclave Apparition leaves the battlefield, the exiled card's owner creates an XX Blue Illusion creature token where X is the converted mana cost of the exiled card. Oh, that is so good! Oh yes, and this is a this is a pretty juicy hit. This is like the most expensive rare in Zendikar Rising. So, uh, <laughs> hats off, Mr. Little. Thank you for the pull. I am very appreciative. This is a good card, and I will be uh, probably tossing it in the uh, in the in the rares and mythics binder. Not not wanting to put this among my bulks. This is actually quite a valuable pull right now. And we have a forest, and I think we may... Do we have anything else behind it? No, no, no foil or anything, but we do have our lovely little full art forest. And a cat token. Look at this. I love this token. This is one of my favorite tokens. The cat is wearing a utility belt. Is that not the cutest thing? <laughs> oh, man, that cat is ready for some adventures. That cat... That cat is loaded for bear. But there we go. There you have it. There is... Our first Zendikar Rising Draft Booster, and I can say with some certainty, for a Zendikar Rising Draft Booster, it's never going to get better than that. So, thank you, Mr. Little. Very much appreciated. Your, uh, your, uh, your kindness is noted. I am very grateful for the good, for the good pull. We would still be friends, even if it wasn't a good pull, though probably slightly less good friends. I mean, you understand, right? So like, but, but you know, you've, you curried favor with me, Mr. Little, you have, uh, you, you, we are, we are friends for at least one more day because of this pull. Thank you so much guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And if you want to get in touch with me and figure out how to, how to get me some packs, whether you want to like, uh, send along like a little bit of, a little bit of cashiola and say, hey, buy this pack and open it on the channel. Or whatever. I don't know. You don't have to do that. But uh, this was just a... Now that I'm now that I'm in the mode and I'm thinking about it. There we are. Like, yeah, I would love to... I would love to give good juju to the things that people suggest I grab. Or whatever. I'm just kind of thinking out loud at this point. Getting a little bit rambly. But there you have it. Skyclave Apparition. Much appreciated. See you guys next time.